Okay, we're back. I got the length of my uh, skirt as long as I want it. So we're going to um, do our half double and then we're going to take the end and just slip it through once. And then we're going to knot it right there. So we'll knot that through. We're going to slip it through again here just so we can get a good knot here at the end of it, and we can sew that through anyway. We'll get that, that sewn through when we... We're gonna join it. Now we got the length. This is the lines I want my cow. So, what we're actually gonna do now, we're actually gonna sew these two together, like so, okay? So you can pick out you can pick out your whatever side you want. Basically, the two of them are the same, and you're going to take it up, and you're going to make sure everything is together like this, and it's going to fit there, right? It's going to fit in there. Then, what you're going to do now, what I did at home. I cut a little bit of yarn off for mine, and I took the darning needle, and we're going to thread the darning needle. Pull it through. We're not going to throw all the way, but we're throwing up. I'm not going to use the yarn. Okay, now. We're just going to slip this together, slip stitch it. So we're just going to take it, put it through there. That little thing, we want to have that in there too, so we can cover that. Okay, you're just going to go through so far. Now you want, you're going to want to leave a little bit on the end, so that you can turn that in on the end. So you leave that little bit on the end, and you're going to go through, and you pull it all the way through like that. That just shows where you're actually darning in it. Then go through this way again. Pull it all the way through. All the way through. There we go. And make sure when you're putting it through there, you're getting through the two, the two loops. Make sure you're getting through the two of them on each side. You can actually do whatever you, whatever way you want. You can actually single crochet this too, if you want to just to single crochet the join. You can actually do that if you want to too. But I just want to show you how I slip stitched it here, and then you actually have to go and turn in all your ends, and you got your cow. So. And this is all half double crochet. So it's very easy to make. 
And you just use it as a scarf too. You can have the scarf. Just keep going if you want a long scarf. Make it as long as you want it and just have a scarf instead of a cowl. And anywhere where you see any of these loose ends like this, you want to make sure they're in there when you're sewing it up so they won't unravel on you. Um, always make sure there's a good knot there so it won't come unraveled on you. And then I'll show you what I actually done in a minute for the rest of the cowl. Um, my edges are pretty straight. So I could probably just leave it as is. But um, what I actually done, I actually put a uh, a single crochet on uh, both, both edges of the cowl. And it made it look more finished. So just bear with me here for one minute. I got this cut. I don't know what I got done with it. There we go. Okay, now what you want to do with this, you want to take it out like this, and you can see where the seam is here, see? See where the seam is? And you're going to darn in your edge. So, what you want to do, you want to just take it and give it up through a few stitches like this. Pull it up this way. And what I normally do, I normally step Nip these off, and, read. and you're just going to go through here like this. You don't want to go too far with it, right? And you pull it up, and you just turn it through. And then you turn it like this, and you just do it back the other way like this. And that way there it will hold it in. And it won't, uh, it's not going to unravel on you. See, take it through like that. And what I like to do, I like to put it in through the loop. So you put it in through the loop like that, through your last one, and you make sure there's a good knot there. There's a good knot on the end there, look. See? It's right on the end. And I, I normally do that a couple of times. Put it through and knot it. And then that's not going to come out on you. And then you just snip it like that. Okay, now that's sewn there. Now this side here. Okay, I should left it a little bit longer. What I normally do on this side, I take the, the crochet hook and then I just put it in through the loop and put it through there and pull it through this way. And then I just pull it through, just like I've done with the darning needle only you're doing it with this, right? And I knot it. Make sure there's a knot in that. And you tighten her up. And that's actually what you're going to do with all your loose ends. You do them the same way you done with the turning needle. And that way there they won't come out. They're not going to unravel on you, regardless of what you do. Now, what I done next 
Okay, that's your seam there. So what you're going to do, you're going to turn it in the right way. And right there, and you can't even see the seam, see? See? It's just sewed right in there. Okay, now, you can leave this as is, or my edges are pretty straight, right? My edges are pretty straight, but I wanted something that would look nice around the edge. Okay, so what I did, I just took the yarn. Okay, so I'm going to take this yarn, this color. This is a color, different color. And do it in, like you could do it in the blue or the green or the, or the, uh, the cream. So I took the cream and I'm going to join it here, right where this edge is at. We done our edge. I'm going to put it in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just pull it in through like this. And you're going to pull this and you're going to pull that through there, through the hook. Now that's going to be your join. You're going to pull that, just leave that for now. We'll turn that in later. That's going to be your drawing. So then you're going to take your working yarn. And you're going to yarn over. And pull it through the loop. Then you're going to yarn over. And go through all these stitches on the edge. Like this. So we're just going to go all through them like that. So you just go through. Wherever you can get through. Pull through a loop and then pull over. So this is what's called a single crochet. So you just put it through the loop, pull the yarn up, and then yarn over and go through the two of them. Through the loop, pull it up, yarn over and go through all of them. And you're gonna do it all around this edge, and then you're gonna do the same on this side. And that'll finish off your cow. And then make a really nice finish for your cow. And this is called a single crochet. So it's just in the in the loop. Draw the yarn through the loop. You got two on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Or if you want, you can do a half double crochet instead of just a single crochet like I told you. You can take this out. Let's try. And we can actually do a half double crochet. So you're going to do the same thing when you join. Then for half double crochet you're going to yarn over through the loop, pull one through and then yarn over all three. And that's the stitch you're using for the whole pattern. So yarn over And I'll go go through all three. Yarn over through the loop. Go through all three. Yarn over through the loop. Go through all three. And that's going to make a really nice edging on your Raquel. And then if you were just leaving it as a scarf. You could do that too, right? You could just do it all the way down. But you have, obviously, you have to do it all the way on both sides and around the both ends for your scarf. And I find it really um, makes a nice, uh, a nice finish to the cowl because it's the color just brings out the other colors in the cowl, the edging color. And you do all that all the way on both sides and you finish it off and you just yarn 
you're turning all your edges. I'm just going to show you one side here on this video. And you can continue on on your own when you get it finished. See? That's what the edging is actually going to look like on it. So I actually like the hat double better on this. And that's the simple cow. Very easy to do. Now, if you wanted to, um, before you actually uh, get into this, uh, making this cow, you can actually practice your stitches too. So that, you know, you'll get your tension and everything right on the cow. So it's not going to be too crooked on the edges. Because you really have to work with your tension in order to get it through. Because some people crochet loose and some people crochet tight. And you just got to get used to that tension when you're doing that. So that's going to be your cow. That's going to be really pretty. And that's going to be done on both edges of the cow. You got to do it on this side too. So it'll be done on this side. And that's going to finish off your cow. Now, before I let you go, I'm going to go over a few more stitches. So we've done the chain. We've done the chain stitch. We done the half double crochet. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on with this, but I'm going to show you. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to do a double crochet. So the double crochet is just yarn over like you were doing the half double. Okay, oh wait, now we got a chain. We chain two here for a double. And we turn our work. And then you're going to yarn over, insert the hook through the loop, pull one through. And you got three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two. And then yarn over and pull through the last two. And that's your double crochet. That's your double crochet right there. So if you want it, um, you know, to change the stitches, you could actually do, you could do one row a half double, one row um, double. You can do whatever you want there. But that's actually a double crochet. And you can see the difference there in the double crochet. Because the double crochet is a little bit, touch, just a tad higher than the half double crochet. And then, um, I'm going to show you the difference here. I'm going to take the green here and I'll show you the I'll show you the half double. So the half double, you're just going to go and pull that off right there for now. If you're doing the half double, you go through like this. Not a half double. Uh, treble. So, with the treble, when you turn, you would chain three, okay? And then you would go, you'd wrap your yarn around the hook twice. You go through the loop, pull one through, just like we've done on the double. But on the double, we had, we had three loops on the hook. This here way, for the treble, we're going to have four. And we're yarn over, go through one. Yarn over, go through, or two rather. Yarn over, go through two more. And then yarn over and go through the last two. And that's going to be your treble. I'm going to try it again now. We're going to go yarn over the hook twice for the treble. In through the loop. Pull a loop through. You're going to end up with four on the hook. So you yarn over, 
you go through the first two, then you're down to three, yarn over go through the next two, then you're down to two, and yarn over you go through the next two. And that's your treble. And there's the difference right there. There's your double here. And see the difference in the height between the treble and the double. And your treble, you yarn over twice for the treble. The double and half double are once. For treble, you go twice. And you yarn over and you insert your hook through the chain, pull a loop up, and you end up with four loops on the hook. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, go through the second two. And yarn over, go through the last one. And that's your treble crochet. And they'd be your treble crochets. And now I'm going to go from there. And I'm going to chain one here. And I'm going to show you the single. The single crochet is just going through your, your chain, pulling up the loop, and then going over and pulling through two loops. So you just go through the chain, pull a loop through, and then yarn over the hook, draw through two. Go through the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over your hook, and draw through those two. And that's your single crochet. So there's your half double, there's your double, there's your treble, there's your single, and then there's another one I'm going to show you, it's the slip stitch. And the slip stitch, you're just going to go through the hook and pull the yarn through the hook and pull it through that stitch you just had on your hook. So you go through the loop. You got one stitch there. You go through the loop and there's two stitches. And then you're just going to pull that stitch through that loop and that's your slip stitch. Show you one more time. Through, through. And through. That's your slip stitch. So I like the half double crochet in the cowl. Um, I think it makes it a pretty nice uh, thing here. So now um, this is my first tutorial. And uh, we're going to have more tutorials to come. And I'll show you... Um, how to read patterns, uh, whether they're written or they're in a graph. And I'll also show you how to, uh, how to, uh, different techniques and tips. Because uh, we're, I'm actually left-handed. It's, it's for left-handed crochet and left-handed knitting. And I'm actually going to show you on the next video. We're going to do, we're actually going to do some knitting. And I'll show you, I'm going to show um, cast on, cast off, knit, and purl on the next video. And we're, see, we're actually going to make, uh, we're going to make another towel, I believe. I think I'm going to make another towel, but I'm going to make it like this. This one here. This one is just, it's actually, uh, I made a turtleneck towel. It's not as loose, and uh, I just uh, knitted it so much, and then I just sewed it up. And when it goes on your neck, it'll turn over like this, like a turtle, and it'll keep your neck reason, really warm. Um, I like these because I live in Nova Scotia, Canada, and uh, the winters are cold here. So that would be really warm on your neck. So that's what we're actually going to do next time. So make your make sure you like my channel and you subscribe for my channel. And I'll see you next time.